my favorite sport is baseball. So what I'm going to be speaking about is the main player, the most important player in that team, which is the pitcher. I will also be speaking about the most deadly, deadliest pitch that the pitcher has, which is the curveball. I'll speak about, first I'll speak about the mechanics of the pitcher in general. Secondly, how to throw and the grips and the rotation of the curveball. And thirdly, the outcome. First, according to CompletePitcher.com, the grip is the most important part of any, any pitch. Very importantly, to throw the curveball, you gotta place the middle finger on the inside seam. Then you gotta throw, throw it like it's a fastball to where the elbow is as an L, as an L form. Then, you need to have the arm perpendicular to the ground. Then the last one is the rotation. At the end of the whole motion before releasing the ball, you have to turn in the hand as you bring it in to the body. The seven steps to the mechanics of the pitcher. The first, the most important part, is the stepping. You gotta take small steps you gotta take a rack, a rack of step back, then turn your private foot parallel with, with the rubber. The, most, the, the second part, most importantly, is the balance. First, you gotta lift up your leg into the balanced position. Do not swing the leg up, just bring it up normally. Because if you swing it up, then you will lose the balance. Secondly, is having a toe pointing down straight when you pick up the leg. Next step is the arm. When you lift your legs, you must have your arms tightly closed to your chest with the glove. When swinging the arms, you got to release the ball with the gravity and lean forward towards the catcher because it will help you throw faster. Finally is the motion. When you are in throwing motion, the arm must finish opposite to, to your opposite knee. When you whip, when you whip the throwing arm across the body, you gotta ha you gotta have it from you gotta go from an eleven o'clock stand to a five o'clock outside the opposite end. And finally, after you complete the full motion of the throwing pitch, you must land at your both feet so you can be ready to take the hit. This right here is the the grip for the curveball, which it shows you the you, you must have your middle finger on the inside seam to be able to rotate the ball. This is finally, this is how I showed you the higher air pressure with the lower air pressure, how it works when you rotate the ball into your body to, so it can then finally land at the catcher. So this demonstrates when you rotate it, how it actually works, how it rotates from up here to down here, and it actually it gets to the catcher like that, to the home plate. This is a picture, the Drake Yankee picture, Phil so Hugh. He, he's actually showing you how he throws a curveball with the middle finger inside his, the, the seam, which is the basic, that, that's the basic. There's other ways to throw the curveball, but that's the most basic part, to throw the curveball. And finally, actually, I have a video that will show you, demonstrate how to throw the curveball. Will I have to put that to be able to show the video? I don't know. I don't know. I think you better go to your to your conclusion. So, finding these other steps, the ways and the precisions to throw the curveball to be able to make it rotate. On Tuesday, millions of Americans will vote for my husband so that we can keep our country moving forward. And I want to thank you for being one of them. Click here to confirm where you'll vote.
This is actually the video right here. Okay, we're, we're not going to have time to go through it. No, it's a minute. No. It's a minute. It's not going to change anything, really. Yeah. You want to see it? We can see it afterwards, if you want. I'll, we can leave it up there. We can leave it up there. I'm done. Thank you. Benny, do you know how to throw the curveball? Yes. Do you kind throw of, it? Kind of. Kind of. You, you, you know the technique? Yeah, now I do. I know more now. Yeah, well, after you've done this speech. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad you learned about it. Um, I think this would have been so much more interesting if you actually had a, a ball with us and actually went through the steps with us um, and actually demonstrated for us how it's done. Um, it, it, it would have been more visually enticing. As it was, it was so technical. It was so full of jargon, baseball jargon, um, and I love baseball, and I kind of knew, but I doubt if many of your people in your audience didn't know what the heck you were talking about. It was like gobbledygook. Um, and so it's your job to kind of, one, make it clear, and two, make it interesting. I think the curveball is a very, physically, it's a very interesting thing that happens to the ball. I mean, the way that it kind of drops is very interesting, but you didn't find a way to make it interesting for this audience. Um, it's an interesting topic, but how do you make keep us involved? And um, I, I, I don't think many of your audience was really involved with it. Um, and you know, you, you need to think about that. How do I do that? You can figure it out. Okay. So you can just leave me leave me the cards. Again, interesting topic. Um, okay. Actually, Pat, now you've 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 uh, uh, presented, so we have yeah. someone who has a presented. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them present first, and then you can g give it your second try. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for you. And you were supposed to present with which group? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to